We choose life. We choose love. We choose grace. Allison Holker Boss has been keeping a pretty low profile since her late husband, Stefan Twitch Boss, tragically passed away last December. But lately, she's been moving on in a very surprising way. Believe it or not, Allison has recently found love again. The truth about how she opened her heart again is honestly shocking, so let's get into it. After Twitch's passing, it was five months before Allison publicly broke her silence. When she spoke to People Magazine, she was trying to stay strong for her and her late husband's three children. But it was clear that underneath the surface, she was still completely heartbroken. Dance has obviously been a significant part of Allison's life, but during her interview, she confessed that she hadn't danced at all since Twitch had passed away. She claimed that it would be a huge step since dancing with him was always extremely special. It's understandable that Allison was struggling to dance again since she used Used to consider dancing with Twitch their love language. Not to mention, dancing was what had originally connected them to each other over a decade ago. Literally, we danced and we were together, like holding hands the very next day yeah. and never looked back. Absolutely. After hearing her heart-wrenching story about losing the love of her life, I don't think anybody expected Allison to quickly find someone new and move on. But what she shared on Instagram just a few weeks ago was seriously unbelievable. Allison had written in her post caption that she was feeling both scared and excited about what she had just done. She also said that she was thankful for the person who had made her feel safe while moving on. But what the video in her post revealed was truly unexpected. Three. Allison has started moving forward by finding love again with dancing. In the clip of her first time dancing since losing Twitch, she was joined by choreographer Brittany Perry Russell. Allison added that dance had always been a passion for her, and she was happy to discover that it still was. But dancing isn't the only way that Allison has been making progress in her healing journey. Since the beginning of summer, she's been putting her life back together piece by piece. What she did shortly after her emotional interview with People Magazine was absolutely incredible. Thank you to Nami West LA for this incredible honor. The week after Allison spoke out in May, she and her 15-year-old daughter Wesley made their first public appearance since Twitch's passing. They attended a gala that was sponsored by the National Alliance of Mental Illness Westside Los Angeles. Allison and Wesley's attendance at the event was really important for a couple of extraordinary reasons. The main reason why Allison and Wesley were on stage at the event was to accept the Heart of Champion Award in honor of Twitch, but they were also involved in a major announcement that was made at the gala that evening. Allison revealed that the National Alliance had officially partnered with the Move with Kindness Foundation, which is the Boss Family's organization. The charity foundation was created to keep Twitch's legacy going by raising mental health awareness. It was admirable that Allison's first public appearance was at the Mental Health Gala, but the fact that Wesley was also there spoke volumes about their supportive relationship. A big part of Allison's inspiration for getting her life back on track has come from her kids. When she spoke to People Magazine, she mentioned that she and her children had always been close, but after Twitch passed away, their bond went through an incredible transformation. Allison admitted that she was mainly focused on making sure she was strong for her kids so she could help them work through their tough emotions. But it turns out that they also helped her in ways that she would never have expected. Cool, I was like, okay, my kids are feeling settled, they're back into everything they're doing, I, I think I can do this too. Allison was driven by her children's decision to return to school after losing their dad. Their strength motivated her to get back to her life and adjust to what her new normal would be. But Allison also realized that her kids were genuinely there for her, just like she was there for them. They're being such a huge support system for me. They're looking out for me. They're very protective of me. Allison definitely hasn't been taking the special connection she has with her kids lightly. Over the last three months, she's been spending so much quality time with them. The different events they've been attending together are honestly unreal. In June, Allison and her kids were invited to the red carpet premiere of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Later in the summer, the family traveled to Florida where they spent time at Disney World, but Allison has also been supportive of her children's everyday activities. A few weeks ago, Allison shared a few posts on Instagram of her seven-year-old son Maddox's basketball games. She also posted some photos of him working out at the gym with her. Allison has been putting her life back together with the help of her friends as well. In August, she documented the Taylor Swift concert that she and her friends attended by sharing a series of photos on social media. More recently, her friend group along with Wesley saw Beyonce in concert too. But lately, Allison has also been working on new and exciting business ventures. In July, she announced that before Twitch passed away, they had worked together to create a children's book. She added that the book, which is titled Keep Dancing Through, A Boss Family Groove, will be released in January 2024. And that's 
not the only way she's been keeping busy in her career. Allison also made a guest appearance on an episode of Barbie Dreamhouse Challenge in July, but as thrilled as she looked to be working with Ty Pennington, I have a feeling that the experience might have been more bittersweet than anything. Originally, Allison and Twitch were supposed to host the HGTV series together, but after Twitch tragically passed away, everything came completely crashing down. Over the last several months, Allison has made a lot of progress on her healing journey. It's amazing that she's been able to find love again with dancing, all while raising her kids and grieving the loss of her husband. But not everyone is impressed with how she's been moving forward and balancing her life. Allison recently posted another video on Instagram that showed her dancing with Wesley and some of her friends. But instead of being happy for Allison, a lot of commenters were calling her out for a seriously ridiculous reason. As crazy as it sounds, many people accused Allison of not spending enough time grieving her late husband. Some of them claimed that she didn't even seem bothered by his passing. But lately, one of the most repeated complaints from her followers has had to do with one of her very personal decisions. In Allison's Instagram post over the last few months, she's no longer been wearing her wedding ring from Twitch. She hadn't said anything publicly about having interest in dating, but as a widow, she's technically single and doesn't need to wear a ring if she doesn't want to. It's bizarre that so many comments on Allison's recent post have been attacking her for not wearing her wedding ring anymore. For all we know, she might have decided to take it off so that she could keep it safe and in good condition. But no matter what, it's ultimately her choice and hers alone. It must be insanely challenging for Allison to even want to get out of bed some days, let alone be active and so Socialize. But honestly, do people expect her to only be posting videos that are serious and show extreme sadness? If anything, they should know from Twitch ending his own life that sometimes, people who seem really happy are secretly and silently struggling. It's obvious from the interviews that Allison has done since Twitch's passing that she still has trouble coping at times. And I'm still going to grieve and I'm still going to hurt some days and some moments and that's okay. When Allison was speaking to People Magazine, she acknowledged that it would be totally valid for her to be in a dark, depressing mindset. But for her and her children's sake, she didn't want to be stuck in that place. Instead, she made an effort to have a much more positive perspective. But we feel this much pain because we felt so much love. And that is a huge blessing that we've had in our life. Allison also claimed that sometimes her sadness is so overwhelming, she takes it minute by minute instead of day by day. But she's made a promise to Twitch's spirit that she'll keep going no matter what. My commitment to him is to still move forward from that. Allison might not always be wearing her wedding ring, but that doesn't mean her feelings about Twitch have changed. She also might not be ready to move on romantically yet, but she's formed a truly incredible bond with her kids and has also found love again with dancing. But anyway, now that we've talked about Allison's latest updates and how she's been putting her life back together, I'm curious. What are your thoughts about her dancing again for the first time since Twitch passed away? What do you think about the hate that Allison has been getting online for no longer wearing her wedding ring? Let me know in the comments below.